we have momentum. So after the Xfinity race, it popped up saying that we got momentum and we got a 10% speed boost. I thought that was a little weird that we got it after the Xfinity race because I thought the, mo the whole momentum thing was supposed to be, you know, you sit down with the team, you grind out a couple weeks, you get some good finishes, you get some momentum. We've only run two Xfinity races. First, we finished first and second, and they've been with two different teams. So, uh, either way, we, we got a 10% speed boost. I don't know if that applies to Xfinity or what, but uh, we should have it for the truck series. So, uh, at least we have that going into it a mile and a half with Kansas. I also don't know if we can get better momentum boosts down the road or not. Again, we got a 10% speed boost. I don't know if we can get uh, anything better, but something we'll have to play with. You know, as as we go on, we'll we'll see what it gives us. A look at our rivals before we hop into it. Uh, we don't have any rivals yet. Uh, we we mess with a lot of people in Martinsville, and again, uh, from the first for, from really the two weeks we've kind of <laughs> been uh, been messing around with some of the other drivers. Honestly, I thought if I could just turn somebody, they might just become my rival. But, uh, but yeah, it's like you have one instance with them, you get a bar. So we're up to two bars with a lot of these guys. Some guys, you know, and Jennifer Joe Corncob, we have one bar. And okay, we still have a couple of drivers who are friendly. Not not very many. We have a couple, which is surprising because I'm pretty sure Matt Mills sent me an angry tweet after one of the races, and we're still friendly with him. So. Uh, yeah, so a little a little goofy with some of the random tweets and uh, the rivalries, but uh, but yeah, so that, that, that's what it's looking like. Uh, let's just go ahead and hop into it. Ah, here we go. The one cool thing about the Truck Series schedule is that like most of the races are under the lights, so uh, that's pretty damn cool. Kansas under the lights. Let's get it. So we got this this boost, this momentum boost. We honestly we weren't too bad in qualifying. Obviously we quali qualified last, but uh, I want to say Atlanta we were at least like two seconds off. We were less than a second, so I think we might have some some legitimate speed in this thing. But we're about ready to find out. Got a 19 lap first stage here. Let's go, Clay. He's a short way around. There we go. Yeah, again, what was it? A 10 percent? Speed boost, so 10% uh, doesn't sound like much, but oh, right up here, there we go. I gotta say, I got the setup dialed in pretty good too. I couldn't quite hold it all the way open. Oh uh, yeah, I couldn't quite hold it wide open going, uh, you know, off in the corners and qualifying. But I was also qualifying was during the day, so I don't know. Realistically, you know, day versus night, there would be big handling changes. But um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's a thing in NASCAR Heat too. I would I would assume not, but you never really know. So. Oh yeah. Oh man, this thing is cutting through the corner. Ooh. Had it sliding off into the corner too. Oh man, we got this thing feeling smooth. Here we go. Yeah. Now Kansas Kansas was one of my favorite tracks in NASCAR Heat Evolution when it came to mile and a half, just because I. I don't know, man. This is one of the better mile and a half that it actually, like, we can actually get the car to kind of turn around here. And I remember the high side kind of worked as well, surprisingly. But yeah, we're in that uh, little horsepower truck. We can hold it wide open now. All right, we got to run. Corbin Forrester. Here we go. Yeah, 19 lap stage, 15 to go here. Yeah, get it. So hopefully you're seeing this if uh, if you're watching the same day of the Xfinity race. The last race was posted, uh, Xfinity race at Bristol. Uh, when I do the hot seat ride offer for Xfinity, I'm hoping to get... Uh, I want to do my primary series, uh, whatever I'm running for the championship in. I want to do that, like, probably every day. And then when I do a, a hot seat offer, I want to just kind of slip that in there as well. So um, that's what I'm going to try to do with... Uh, this and the Bristol race so hopefully you see these uh, see these or see this one on the same day as uh, the Xfinity Bristol I know you never know what might come up but um, yeah I asked in that video as well uh, I want a new capture card so let me know if you guys see any like visual changes like if if, uh, if the game looks better sounds better I'm hoping it fixed a couple issues I was having I know it fixed one major issue I was having but 
uh, especially towards the end. It, uh, was, the capture coverage was getting worse and worse as it went, but, uh, but yeah, here we go. We lost a spot to our teammate, and we're gonna take that rate back. Yeah, the tires are starting to fade. You can feel it. What? I take that back. You can't really feel it. You can feel it just a little bit, but it just feels like you start losing overall speed, which is one thing I don't quite agree with in NASCAR Heat 2. Um, and that was the kind of way, kind of the same way it was NASCAR Heat Evolution. Oh, that was sweet. Hell yeah. Come on. Show us the speed. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we're slow. Whoa. Jesus. Come on, Chavis. You're supposed to be my teammate, not trying to turn me. And we have a caution. Oh, gosh. I got sweaty there for a second. All right, so, uh, damn, 70, 70 some lap race, so. Ah, oh, man, I didn't look how much we got on fuel. Estimated eight. Oh, we got a pit, because I don't think we can make it. All right, that's, yeah, that's one issue I have. It doesn't show us how many laps are left there in the stage, so, I, like, I have to guess, because I didn't, I couldn't remember exactly how many laps we had left. Goodbye, Jennifer. Oh man, nine to go. Oh, I would have been right on the money. We had eight to go. I'm not sure how much fuel I would burn under caution. I don't think these guys can make it. I don't think they can. I don't know how much uh, much they'll save in between uh, now and the end of the stage. Mile and a half. They should get some decent amount of draft. So I would assume they'll probably save a little bit. I, I don't know. It's so hard to tell. All I know is it's going to be close, and we're going to try to make up as many spots as we can here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we're not clear. I need my spotter to do spotter things. Why are we slowing? Christ! Okay. Thank you for the caution. Thank you. Jeez, that went 0 to 100 very, very quickly. Well, everybody can make it now. I, yeah, we got some pretty bad damage. I'm just going to pick pit and, uh, and fix this up here. Alright. Let's, uh, let's just get to the end of the stage here. <laughs> oh, man. I think um, I had a couple people ask. I can't remember if I clarified it in a video or not. So the Maryland flag on the back of my truck, uh, a couple people asked me how I got it. Uh, originally, for whatever reason, I thought it was a pre-order bonus. Um, from, from what I understand now, uh, it was part of the September DLC. So if you get the, uh, the $30 hot pass for the entire game, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is or this year. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, it should be in there. Um, and you can add it as like a sponsor to your truck. So I don't know if it comes with, um, it, yeah, they just have all the state flags. I think that's it. So um, you should be able to Google that or check that out. So I'm not even 100% sure about that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, so don't quote me if that's not true, but... Um, but yeah, I wanted to clarify that because I told a couple people, like I said, I thought it was uh, I thought it was a pre-order bonus, but um, yeah, it's part of the DLC. So, oh, here we go. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get any. Uh, yeah, how many laps we got to go in the stage? Oh God. Okay, we got a couple, but I don't think it's. Uh, well, I guess enough. We're, we're sitting 25th. Yeah. I don't know. We got these. Uh, we got these four fresh tires. Through the middle. Oh, close the door. Open it back up. I'm going to open it back up. Yeah, all right. Oh, man. Trying to thread the, the AI, thread the needle with the AI in the middle of a trioval. That's probably one of the hardest things I've ever, I've ever done in my life. I didn't, I didn't really even do it. It was, it was just a hard attempt. It's just the way they move throughout the the trial. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty rough too. Come on, get some draft. Um, two to go. Yeah, we gotta make up ten spots. I don't think it's happening. Gonna give it our best here. Ah, oh, can't quite hold it wide open. Charles Quapo shot coming around the outside. Who's this? Tyler Young. Coming to the white flag, stage number one. Somebody's riding down the apron. That's a leader, it looks like. That's being stupid. Come on. I want this spot. 
Oh man, everybody run, running low. Come on, he's a short way around. Oh, yeah, that's right. We don't even respect the line. All right, well, 19th, okay. So not bad. It's definitely a lot better than running around for like 30th in Atlanta. So yeah, everybody's pitting. Everybody has to pit. I'm gonna come down as well. Um, honestly, I I could stay out and take advantage of that, but I, again, I don't think we can make it through the next stage. So that's the biggest priority there. All right, so we only lost one spot. I would assume. I bet somebody stayed out. I bet there's one knucklehead who stayed out. There has to be. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell who's up there. So we got 17 to go. What's the fuel run? Oh, okay. So that's 16, 15, something like that. Yeah, we're still gonna be a lap short. But uh, yeah, okay. Never mind. So it just went down to 15. So we're a good bit short. I'm glad they caught that early. We're gonna try to save here. Save a little bit. Uh, then we'll we'll save. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll work on this here. Oh God, Gildan slipping up. We gotta run off the high side. Get it. No. Oh! You know what's wrong with Gillen? He's just whistling out. There you go. Oh, oh, pardon me. I'm just gonna clear myself. That was a spot I wanted to get last time. Oh God, don't drive on that apron. Man, this is a this is a gaggle right here. Oh boy, this looks fun. Oh. Which way are you going, Cody? Are we going middle? Are we going low? What are we doing? Are we going high? Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, this is fun. Oh, Hunter Nemechek whisked out. We almost went four wide there, and he whisked out. I'll go four wide. Who wants to go four wide? I want to go four wide. Look at Jennifer Joe Corncob up here digging. Up here in 10th. 11th. Give it a second. 12th. 13th. Still digging. Oh yeah, I go up through here, through the middle. Uh. It's a short way around. There we go, yeah. Oh yeah, we're digging around the bottom. This thing is definitely the best. It handles really good around the bottom. Oh man, until we hit the straightaway. It's all good until we hit the straightaway. He just drove right past us, like grabbed another gear on the straightaway. I guess was gonna go back and forth. Come on, somebody give me the push. Come on, Ben. Get on my rear end. Push me up here. You're no fun, Ben. That's why you don't win races, because you're not aggressive. You don't you don't get up in my rear end. You don't want to go anywhere. You just want to sit back there and be a bum. That's okay. I'll remember that. Oh yeah, now you wanna make moves, huh? Now you wanna make moves. Shit! I hate Ben Rhodes. Christ! Christ! We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I only got hit in the rear end. You know what? It all would have been okay if Ben Rose, he got the run, he just would have came up, hit me in the rear end, would have cleared Gregson. But no. As soon as we got on the straightaway, he tried to pass me. And then, yep, yep. It all led to that. Well, our ass end is a little crumpled. Yeah, that's okay. We don't need that SN anyways. Where are we at? We should be able to make it on fuel though, so that's cool. I don't know if anybody else pit or not. Alright. Who's in last? Austin Hill. I still don't know who Austin Hill is. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, we gotta run. It's so much fun being not the slowest here in a mile and a half. I'll tell you that. I can deal with not, you know, with having like 20 speed as long as I'm, I'm not, I don't have like the slowest truck in the field. Just give me something I can somewhat sort of kind of do something with. That's about what we got now. So hopefully we can score a little bit more momentum. That'll make up for the whole, you know, not being able to like upgrade your team with, with money and whatever, which I don't even know why we get money. It's, it's pretty pointless at this point. Oh yeah, look at the run. Oh, it gets that quarter panel. Ah, man, we hit the straightaway. Our nose. Oh, yeah, it's just broke. Oh, oh, I saw the bottom open up. Oh, he filed in. Jennifer Joe Corncop still slipping back. Oh, hey, it's John Hunter Nemechek. 
Oh, God. That'll be a tweet. I ran over him. Oh, I'm still trying to run over him. Yeah, I want to go through the middle. I don't know why I don't like John Hunter Nibicek so much. I don't know. It's something about her. His face looks kind of douchey. Let's go, Travis. Let's get up the rear end. And draft. It really sucks being slow on the straightaway. It takes me the entire straightaway to suck up to somebody. We got to go. We shoved him off into the corner. There you go. Shove him off into the corner. Shove him off the corner. Might just be able to catch him by the end of the straightaway. No, nope, no, nope, never mind. He's pulling away. <laughs> oh man. There we go. Again, this is the one the one upside of being underpowered. Uh, we can usually hold a wide open through the corners. Yeah, it's all fun and games, so we hit the straightaway. Hit the straightaway. Five to go. Let's we'll see if these guys can make it. Oh, we got problems. Who is this? Wyatt Snyder? Yeah. Damn it. And we're going backwards. Hopefully these guys can't make it. I would love to score some stage points since we're guaranteed a spot. Actually, no, I take that back. We're not guaranteed a spot. Uh, when we were doing hot seat offers in our intro season, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? When we, when we were doing the intro season, there was... They only take eight for the postseason and the, and the Camping World Truck Season. <laughs> truck Series. So, there's a very good chance we'll have more than eight winners. Me being one of them, if that's the case, then we have to fight for points. So, the top eight with either the most wins or if everybody's got one, the most points. So, yeah, we finishes still matter. Unless we can get a second win, then we should probably be okay. White flag here in stage number two. John Hunter, John Hunter Nemechek is growing impatient. So we're gonna be, yeah, we're, yeah, we're about mid-pack. So we're gonna have to hope for some strategy. You know, maybe we can uh, score a little bit better. Yeah, no stage points this time around. The cautions was screwed us there. I, they wouldn't have been able to make it, but, um, all right, so not, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, mid-pack Jack, that's us right there. Premium Motorsports, gotta love it. All right, so we went ahead and uh, it took four tires, fuel, fix our damage, whatever we had. We're still a bit crumpled, but uh, we started 16th. That's right where we were at the end of stage two. So now here we go, 42 to the end. Oh, come on, clear, clear. No, not clear. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Well, that sucks. The outside line's a lot better when, uh, oh, here we go. We can just file in. Oh, of course you brake check me. Brake check me so I couldn't fall in line. Joke's on you. I still got in line. I'm about ready to dump you. Just kidding. I don't have the straightaway speed for that. You just go in ahead. We'll catch up with you later. I know we go to Martinsville before the year's up again. Bristol's in there somewhere. We get Travis here. Beaver Motorsports. Oh yeah, look at us digging. Use all that track. Slide up the hill. And use a short way around. Man, I can see the pop-up of the hood through Hunter Nemechek's windshield. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that right front's pretty torn up. Oh look, it's the Nemechek's. How y'all doing? Joe? John? Nice night we're having here. Like a mid-pack. Yeah, a little bit above it. Man, Joe need to check out running John Hunter need to check tonight. That's interesting. Oh man, I'm this is, I'm in a need to check sandwich. Let me get out of this. There we go. All right, yeah, get the hell out of that. Ah, uh, need to check. Hunter need to check is gonna get us here. Yeah, a little bit too tight at this point. Oh yeah, and by the way, I mentioned we don't have enough straightaway speed. That's part of the problem as well. So yeah, we're gonna have two stops here in this last stage. We've only got nine laps. We got like 36 to go, so. 
And it takes us down around 20 something, and it's only like, what is 15 lap fuel runs, so. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it'd be too crazy unless we get a caution. I mean, we're sitting in P14, man. It's not bad at all. Yeah, I'll be turning, Cody. Oh, pardon me. Was that intentional or was that just stupidity? That's probably going to be the hardest thing to tell. Once everybody gets mad at me in the career mode, like, they're supposed to, like, run you tighter or something. I don't, I don't know how the rival thing works once they get pissed at you, but I'm going to have a hard time telling. I, already can, I can already see it, whether they're just being dumb or they're actually, like, you know, something, something's going on there. That's how, that's how it is in NASCAR heat, man. Half the time, I can't tell if the game is trying to replicate something or if it's just being dumb. <laughs> Ooh, and we have a... Whoa! John Hunter Nemechek just pit? <laughs> As the pits close? What are you doing? Hey, you, you know what? You go ahead. You do you. Do you. Um, so we got 32 laps remaining. I mean, we only got five laps of fuel, so we're just going to go ahead and fix it up. 14 spots lost. I wonder if some of these guys stayed out, because it seems like a lot of us consistently lost, like, 15 spots. Usually when it's like that, there were some people who stayed out. I'm assuming that's the case. It ought to be pretty interesting. I mean, they won't be able to get in the fuel window either way, so there's really no point to stay out there, so. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's still... Well, well yeah, it'll be a one-stop... One um, jeez, what a bunch of idiots. I mean, it'll be a one-stop race for us, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, we're going to dig on this way high line. If there was anybody who stayed out, they'll have to pit again. Whoa, this is tight. Three wide, three wide. Oh, man, Chase Briscoe, nope. He said nope. Yeah, let me dig around this high side. Yeah, everybody stack up. Oh, man, Brian Dowsett's up here. Chastain's up here. Oh, yeah, there had to be some people pitting. Yeah, what a mess this is. Oh, Matt crafted out of nowhere. And Dowsett's crunched a little bit. Oh, God, four wide. Oh, man, what a mess. And we're making some moves up to 16th. Yeah, Austin Wayne self with the draft. Oh, yeah, but hold on. Yeah, slow him up, Peck. Get a couple more. Oh, shit, that put us up in the 13th. Oh, hold on, we're still stacking up. Christopher Bell, yeah, Clay Greenfield, what in the world? Oh, yeah, these must have been all the guys who stayed out. What a bunch of idiots. Matt Mills running in ninth. Jeez, we're going to crack the top ten here. This actually might work out pretty good for us. Oh, yeah. Pull right down in front of us. Love that. Oh, and then do that off the... Yeah, I love that. I love that a lot. I don't like you, Corbin Forrester. I don't know who you are either. I don't like you. I don't, I don't like you. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing that so you don't die. Ben Rhodes ought to take lessons from you, Christopher Bell. I think we all remember what happened with Christopher Bell, or um, what Ben Rhodes did. Yeah, I can talk. Oh, well, my Snyder just dick Ben Rhodes. And I'll take that. Thank you. What do we got going on here? I guess this is the next string of cars here coming to pit. I take it Cedric's not pitting, but for, yeah, Forrester freezing. Oh, jeez. What a cluster we got going on here. Oh, Cedric. Oh, jeez. That AI pit road entry gets me every time, man. Whoa. That's craziness. So, 24 to go. They, I mean, they can't make it. They cannot make it. Uh, we can take it all the way down to 14 laps if we want. About. Uh, left in the race, but I mean. Hey, window is like 14, 15. So, yeah, we're pretty much right on the money to make it on one more stop. So, yeah, that's definitely a good thing we pit there. 
Oh man, Matt Crafton's finally caught his way back up here. Wow, we've actually cycled up in a fifth. How about that shit? Alright, well, you know what? Y'all go ahead. Let me not get in trouble. I really don't want to mess this up for me. Seems like everybody, uh... Yeah, everybody pretty much pit. Gee, that's so crazy. Like, we're halfway decent on the restart, but man... The tires start wearing. We just lose speed. So yeah, we're just sitting here chilling in eighth. We got some... Oh, what the fuck? I look away for one second, and Matt Crafton is sitting there... Was that Matt Crafton? Or was that somebody else? I see a yellow truck up there. There's a yellow truck back there. I see a yellow truck sitting there in a pool of smoke. I don't know what happened. I wasn't paying attention. I'll have to go back and... I don't know. Well, anyways, these guys caught us. I don't know how he didn't get a caution for that. It looked like he was dead stopped. <laughs> what the hell? All right, well... Uh, here goes some more spots. All right, yeah, no takers, so yeah, I guess these guys are gonna pit next time. Bye. All right, let's not wreck this thing trying to get on the pit road. If we can do that, I think we'll be okay. Oh boy, here we go. AI cars and everything. Jesus, don't go that way. We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh man, what a mess. Uh, no damage. Uh, we gotta take full fuel. We gotta take four tires, so. We're, we'll see where we cycle out here. Here we go. Yeah, man, it's like stored up a little bit. I love our fire suits. Look at them things. We got the green flames and everything. Yeah, that's pretty slick. And helmets. Well, there went everybody. We are sort of kind of racing, so. Gonna be a little bit behind them. Oh, who is that? Who's that behind us? JJ Yelly? I think he was part of that group, so it looks like he had a bad stop. I'm pulling up. Who is this? Joe Nemechek. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, couldn't have just ran nigh on the straightaway coming off the corner. Nope. Well, we cycled it at 15th. Now, we know a lot of guys can't make it. I don't know when they're gonna pit. I see some guys coming out here. Yeah, there's Ben Rhodes. Some of these guys are on our strategy. All these guys should be, I think. I'm, yeah, okay, so we've cycled up at a 10th. This will put us up at a 9th. Okay, so now we wait and see who can make it and who can't. But most everybody should be should be good. It's just those guys who stayed out. And here comes Joe Nibacek. There's one spot. That'll put us up into 8th. Cody Coughlin's catching us behind us. And then we got J.J. Yaley. I'm sure he'll be quicker, so... Hopefully, we can hold on for a top 10 here. That's what I'm aiming for. I don't know if we can do it yet or not. Uh, yeah, J.J. Yaley, he's catching us. So he's... And that changes everything. We gotta stay out. There's not many laps left. What, 10? Yeah, we gotta stay out. Alright, well... Of course, we start, I swear we start on the outside every single start. We're just going to have to hold on for as many spots as we can. Oh, boy. We're going to get freight trains so bad. I really want to get tires, but, like, man, track position, at least in this race, is going to be greater than tires. Like, I, I know we have a little bit more straightaway speed, but, uh, yeah, we're just going to have to hold on here. I don't know. That might have been a bad call. I'm not sure. There was a lot of people pitting there towards the tail end. Ah, I don't know. I, I think I've... Yeah, I think I might have should have picked. Well, hold on. At least get through a corner around the bottom. Oh, I'm down here. I'm down here. Okay, yeah, there's only five to go, too. Honestly, it really could have gone either way, I think. Oh, man, if I could get a top ten, that would be huge. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna block. There you go. Yeah, as long as we can just kind of chill for the next couple laps. We don't have very much left. It's like Matt Crafton going for the lead up there. I guess that was Grant Infinger, the, the one that had that incident on the back stretch. Yeah, I have to go back and look at it. But four to go. I want another one. 
Oh yeah, we got in there good. Oh, he's gonna cross us over. Crap, I don't like you, Ben Rose. I don't like you at all. Dude, I thought I could cut him off. I was wrong. Oh, am I clear? Not quite. <laughs> oh, jeez, that sound effect. All right, let me sit. Ah, uh, what a top ten. Come back, Briscoe. Come back. Come on, we're friends. You know you want to just give me give me one spot. Oh, Ben Rose about blew it. Oh. There you go. We still got JJ Yelly behind us, and then Rex is gonna be faster probably. If I could just get one of these spots from one of these damn knuckleheads. Coughlin just drives stupid. He always drives down the straightaway. I swear. Ben Rhodes is Ben Rhodes. I don't know about Chase Briscoe. He almost flipped it outdoors, so there's that. Oh, God. Two to go. I just want one spot. That's all I want. Mark this thing in. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ben Rhodes. Set my balls. Come on. Oh, I know. The corner was so slow. Give me a push, JJ. You're a veteran. You know what's up. Crap, we're freaking tight, man. There's anything we could to get it. No, 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 no. Oh, Christ. Well. Goodbye to our top ten efforts. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get it anyways. I was trying. This is a truck. This truck is just shit at this point. But hey, there's nothing wrong with 12th. Not wrong at all with 12th in our, uh, in our equipment. I would have liked a top 10. Could we have got a top 10? I don't know. It's hard to say where we would have lined up if we would have got tires. It's easier to, it's really easy to go back and say, well, you should have done this, you should have done that. But at the end of the day, 12th is not bad. I will take it. What a speed rating. Hey, we cracked 100. All right. Well, look at the finishing results. Matt Crafton with the win. Austin Wayne self second. Uh, looks like Christopher Bell had a stage win. Uh, I guess he had the second one as well. All the way down to Austin Hill in 32nd. Here we go. Who's going to be mad at us? I'm ready. I'm, wait I'm waiting. Oh, are we not going to get a tweet? No angry tweets? We're going on to Charlotte. I guess no angry tweets. Wow. Let's check out our arrivals. Oh, our teammate. Our teammate and Todd Peck. They're mad. Everybody's pretty much neutral. Okay. So, we're still like two bars away. I'm not sure what comes after mad. But the, I, I, I want to say it's mad, angry, <laughs> and then rival. I, I'm not sure. But either way, we're getting there. I'm not sure why Wendell Chavis and Todd Peck are so mad at me. Considering... How much I've gotten into some of all these other guys. I dumped Brian Dowsett at Martinsville. I've hit John Hunter Nemechek so many times. I don't even know how many times at this point. And uh, yeah, some of these other guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But well, that'll do it, guys. We're on to Charlotte next race. I appreciate you guys. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Helps me out a ton. But uh, there it is. Like I said, love y'all. Appreciate you guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.